because he was charged because he was mm. a maths teacher. Right. The, where people where he yeah. got his money from, people still don't know because he was well, a maths teacher. I think he was kind of kicked out because there was well, rumours. He got, that he he got his money. Then. He got his money. So someone I know who was very close to him and knew him since he lived in a one bedroom, and he basically said to me recently, a few months ago, um, and he was friends with Jeffrey throughout, um, you know, the, his life really since he was uh, working as a professor, was uh, working as a school, school math teacher. teacher. Math teacher, okay, so not really even the professor. But he said, you know, he asked Jeffrey one day, he's like, how do you make all your money? And, um, and Jeffrey's response to that was like, he said, well, I'm the guy that recovers the money from people that cannot go to the police. And he was like, hmm. So basically, like what it is, is that, you know, it's known that Jeffrey, he, he helped a lot of these billionaires create these sorts of charitable trusts. So it was a sort of, um, it was some kind of tax break. So they weren't paying taxes. So they would pay him in assets instead, hence they give him houses or different things. But... I think like the code decipher from that message that Jeffrey said was, so just say someone who's a billionaire, they might be making money illegally, drug money or something. And someone's just run off with 500 million of their money. They can't go to the police. They go to Jeffrey. I don't know how Jeffrey recovers it. My take on that is Jeffrey was definitely with the CIA at some point. Like I've had friends in intelligence like say that to me. Um, I think he was CIA, CIA known to doing a lot of shady shit. And um, I think it got to a point where maybe he wanted to leave. And then they were like, oh, no, you're not leaving. We're just going to set you up. But obviously he was charged as well a few years back of, what was he charged with? Sex or assault? Or right. Girl and was. I don't know the full story about that girl. because and that's what doesn't make sense because if he's charged yeah. with that, and then you've got Prince Andrew going, it doesn't look good yeah. for any of them. Yeah, you've yeah, got to admit, yeah. it doesn't look good. But, but the, the problem is, you see, the the original thing, that was not a big story. Like, when that came out, that was half a page, maybe in the middle of a newspaper. No one gave a shit who Jeffrey Epstein was back then. He, he was not getting front pages. There was not... I mean, I remember vaguely seeing it because I remember thinking, oh, wow, I haven't, like, seen him in, you know, quite a few years. You know, is wonder what that story is about but didn't really think more of it you know and people don't remember that like they're like oh my god jeffrey epstein no it was very it was a very small story back then it was not front page news was there any whisper back then of trafficking no. kids being I mean, raped this, and killed or this word or tra that tra the, the, the word trafficking is way too conspiracy for me and you know i'm a top conspiracy theorist and i literally get people i was in barbados at christmas i got people stopping me on the beach going oh my god i love your instagram all your conspiracies come true um so yeah i've had people literally that you know they were so against the things i said and then they were like yep you were right on that that and that Thank you so much. Um, waiting for my medal. Um, but uh, the word trafficking is such a strong word. And I've said that in all my interviews as well. I said, you know, when I think of trafficking, like I have friends that actually have charities helping traffic victims, which these are girls that are actually like kidnapped from their homes as children or kidnapped in a park and sold into trafficking in a brothel where they are raped all day long. And after that, when they're no use, they are sold for organs. That's trafficking. Trafficking, girls drinking champagne on the back of a yacht in Saint-Tropez ain't trafficking. Do you think a lot of these girls then are basically prostitutes? They basically are. Strippers? No, they are prostitutes. So these girls, um, they're prostitutes, hookers, escorts, whatever you want to call them. See, I don't give a fuck if they're agreeing to it, but it's yeah. the underage ones. No, I don't these agree ones, with that shit. No, uh, but that's next level pedophilia. Yeah. I don't know about the girls that did not agree to it, but I've investigated the ones that clearly knew what they were doing. And Sarah Ransom, as an example, like I actually found her original pictures from her escort agency. So she actually got 
caught up in a whole nother scandal, which is the Pritzler scandal um, of, uh, that was like a couple of years before, but her name was hidden. But anyway, yeah, these girls are hookers, man. Like, look at the pictures of them coming out of the water at the island. There's a picture of Sarah Ransom. She looks like a Bond girl. Like, this is not a girl that has been like chained up and raped all day. Why were you never invited to the island? I have no idea. I actually, um, I well, I pretty much always had a boyfriend back then, so I wasn't really like Could have been your single. Saving though. Yeah, I wasn't really single, but I don't believe like really bad stuff was going on. I mean, but you were never there, so you can't really. I wa- look, I wasn't there, but I feel like you know, this is a rich dude with an island, inviting yes, pretty girls. I don't think they were forced into anything um but you know like i mean i remember when i was younger and this actually was a friend of mine and you know he was a real playboy he he met this girl in in like a nightclub i think it was china white back then maybe her and some friends flew them to monaco grand prix had them on his yacht when they wouldn't sleep with him he threw them off the boat like this is what happens in that kind of level it's like it's pretty fucked up yeah, but if you're partying, guys are wanting And girls. you know what he did? So then even worse, like not just like threw them off the boat, but actually then left them on the boat and went to a party and then threw them off. I was like, that is like really mean. Like that's really mean. But then, you know, it, you don't go and stay with someone. You don't go to an island if you don't think that you're going to have to do mm-hmm. something maybe. See, for me, I... I I'm against them because I, I, I'm but, a father. But again, but, I don't but, know all but this, as but a some, woman, somebody told me about the Clintons as well. He yeah. was just a fucking old pervert as well. He late. He, he well, apparently, like the only reason Bill was there all the time was like he was just escaping Hillary, and he was having the affair with Galen, Apparently, so that's why he was there. Hillary's into women, apparently, as well. <laughs> so, so they say. Um, but uh, yeah, I. Because I don't know if he's into young girls, but he was definitely having an affair with Galen, for sure. What about Prince Andrew? You, you talk, they call him Randy and Andy. Again, listen, there's no, any, he's never and been charged with anything. There's never he any proof. Is he just a big school. kind of, yeah. not a big daft guy, but is he just a guy like to party as well and just... He um, doesn't party. This is the crazy does he thing. He doesn't even drink. He's never even had a drink. I think he might have had one drink when he was like 11 or 12 and he picked up a glass that had alcohol in it thinking it was water and gulped it and just like had the worst experience never touched a drink again so this is this is why this story is so crazy because this is not a party guy like yeah he's social and you know he was like the favorite right the favorite to the queen kind of not as nerdy as charles sort of more fun had the military career so naturally like he was popular with the, with the women like he didn't need to have virginia guffrey like paid can you i mean number one like what i said before that that picture so he's never carried a wallet in his life and um you know the duchess of york can vouch for that like she actually said to me he's never i've i've she's like she's known him her whole life he's never had a wallet like it, clearly in that photo in kinnerton street there's something in his back pocket He doesn't fucking even carry a wallet. He doesn't drink alcohol. So like the beginning of Virginia's statement is like, oh, we were in Tramp and like he got me a cocktail and we drank. Anyone that knows him, and this is where the press really, they think that this thing could have been stopped so early on. Like the press are invited to Buckingham Palace. Like they all know that Prince Andrew doesn't freaking drink. You know that every newspaper archive was trying to find those pictures of Prince Andrew coming out of tramps that night. There's no photo. He wasn't there. Like, it's a lie. There's no way in 2001 anyone could be coming out of a nightclub that is as popular as Tramp Nightclub on a Friday or Saturday night without a million paparazzi. I mean, I lived it. I was out all the time, and I had maybe 10 paparazzi, like, wrapped around my taxi when I'd be out. It's impossible. didn't happen. Because that girl was obviously saying she was trafficked and delaying the, traffic. The, the, this, this word trafficked is like, it's a new word that, that started being used by the lawyers involved in this whole scam of getting money from the Epstein estate. 
um, Bradley Edwards started using it and David Boy started using it because it just makes it all sound so much worse. Trafficking, trafficking, trafficking. Even people that I know, like, who really have been through abuse and stuff, they, they, I literally, they, they just send me emojis of crying, laughing faces. Like, what are these girls going on about? Trafficking. Bullshit. 